Good morning, everyone. Right now on Funland, it's 11.15 a.m. on Tuesday, December 15th. I don't have any big news to share with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. From the middle of December to early January, the island cedar trees are decorated with lights. I did my very best to make them as beautiful as they could be. I'm not confident in my results. I accidentally bumped into one of the decorated trees and a few of the ornaments fell right off. I can only imagine what would happen if someone shakes a tree. In the interest of keeping the island tidy, please lend a hand by picking up any fallen ornaments you see. Oh, right. I sent out a recipe to all DIY recipes app users for what you may ask? An ornament wreath. I bet those fallen ornaments you pick up would really come in handy for this type of project. And welcome back to Funland. It is day 19. We are just starting off our morning, and like every day, I can guarantee my phone is about to ring, so my phone is ringing. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank account for 137,460 bells for what you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Okay, and we do have to check our mail today because my plan for today is I have decided that I would like to put up a teddy bear type picnic on one of the cliffs that I have to kind of start decorating the island a little bit, make it a little nicer. So I purchased some baby bears and papa bears and panda bears yesterday from the Nook store. Um, I had some garden lanterns that I had previously purchased and I made some log tables and some log stools yesterday that I'm going to use to decorate it. So we will be bringing all those up to the cliffside and attempting to build a teddy bear type picnic. So I am just opening everything that we bought. Perfect. I am just going to quickly run into my house and put into storage some of the things that I have on me just so I have enough room to bring everything up with me. Here we go. If I don't need it, I'm just going to put it into storage for now. Okay, that opened a little bit of space for us. So now I can pick up the items that I have put down. Fill up our pockets. And then we're just going to head over to Abel's quickly as well because I want to check out the kiosk again. Uh, check out the paths again in the custom section and see what they have. I was told to check under a different search because there would be more than what I found yesterday. So definitely gonna do that hey there welcome to able sisters where we sell fashions made lovingly by claw and let's check out the back world of creativity awaits here at the custom design portal would you like to in access this internet kiosk yes all right search criteria Enter path. I put in path. Oops. I put in paths yesterday, and that apparently only gets you a few. And if you put in just path, I should get more, and that will help us in our design today. So let's search. Oh, yeah. That brought up way more. So many more paths. That this is awesome. Okay, I think I got what I need so we can exit out of this. We're all done. Now we can go and quickly check out what they have on sale today.
Oh, how cute! It's a little festive dress. That's absolutely adorable. Put the little red hat with it. Oh, they have a Santa hat. Okay. There's our outfit. They have a Santa wig as well, but I think that works for us. So we are going to make that purchase. Are we ready to wear it out? Yes. Oh, that is so cute. Wow, you look great. Thanks for your business. I'll go ahead and ship what you were wearing before directly to your storage at home. Thank you, Mabel. Thanks, please come again. I will. And with that, we can head out onto our island. I have a few more items over here. I don't know if I'm gonna need these bears yet. I definitely need their picnic basket. If I need more bears, I'll come down and grab them. But we are going to head over, grab our vaulting pole. And I put up, yes, I put up a ramp because this lovely area right here is where I'm thinking I would like to put our teddy bear picnic. Um, I'm probably gonna go eat a piece of fruit because I'd like to dig up these decorated trees and replace them up here. I don't wanna just cut them down. So I'm gonna quickly go grab a piece of fruit. Here we go. All right, so let's eat some of our fruit just so we can move some of our trees around. That should do it for now. Grab my shovel. And let's start moving some trees. Perfect. Like I said, I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to move them around. Plant. Oh, when you plant it back, it doesn't have the lights on it, but that's okay. It's still nice. We have to move this one as well. We will find a nice little spot for it. Over here. Plant our tree. Oh, there's no place to plant there. Huh. Maybe right here? Or is that too close to the cliff? Too close to the cliff. That's all right. I will just move it for now. See how much space I have left. I need to move some flowers around. Okay, this gives us a somewhat big enough area. I'm just gonna move this tree. And this one as well. I will find a spot for it after. Just wanted to make sure that we have enough room to get started. So what I'm gonna start with to make our little picnic is placing our table, which is somewhere in and amongst all the things I have. There we go. Place item. So we put up a table, then we're gonna put up some log stools. Put one here, one kind of kitty corner, doesn't have to be perfect. Awesome. Then I'm going to, on one of the stools, well first I'm going to put away my shovel, there we go. Now on the stool we will place one of our bears. Not Papa Bear, he's too big. Baby bear looks like he should sit here. Oh, how cute. Well, he's kind of facing that direction, so maybe I will put him on this stool. Oh, baby panda, baby bear, kind of the same. Here we go. Place baby bear. 
Now we can place baby panda on this stool. Kind of facing the same way, that's all right. Maybe I'll move panda and the stool over here. Sorry, I've never done this before. This is new. I'm just trying something out. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm just facing a different direction, and Panda will go in a different direction, but I'm going to start by putting Papa Bear up and then work around him, I think. Place item. Let's try it in this direction. Not baby panda. Here we go. That's better. So we can have Papa Panda there. Then put another stool right about here then we can place baby panda on the stool that's better up here we are going to put our picnic basket on the table. So you can clearly see it's a teddy bear picnic. Then I'm going to go ahead and place some of those path stones around that I just got. Let's see what this one looks like on the ground. Oh, they're super cute. Okay, yes, that's a definite must put down. That's just adorable. I also brought up some garden lanterns. So we'll place those around too, just because I think they're really cute. And they'll light the place up. We'll just kind of Place those around our little picnic area. I'm not going for anything overly specific here, just trying to make it look a little decorative. Put another lantern right there. How cute. I don't think I need any more bears right now. I like the way that looks. I think I would like to put one of my flowers back down. So grab my shovel, dig a little hole, put in a flower. I think that looks nice. I want it to look kind of we're going for not perfect. This is just like a little picnic area. A winter picnic, so they're a little chilly. Awesome. I think that that looks great. I almost feel like fencing or something is needed along the back. Maybe some flowers, so let's run down to our store and see what they have for flowers today. Oh, they have another bear! Well, hello, hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. They have another bear. I think, I feel that we need to have this. Seems like you're interested in a mama bear, I am. 
Let's see, that's 2300 bells. What do you think? Oh, I'm buying it. That's exciting. I'm excited about that. Did not know they'd have another bear. And one that I don't have, so awesome. Now let's see what they have for flowers. Red pansy, yellow mom, yellow cosmos, white mums. It's Christmas, so white mums. Anything else? We'll get another bag of white mums. Take five. Anything else? They don't have red mums. They only have white mums and yellow mums. They do have red pansies. Maybe we'll put some of those up there. We'll grab some. Anything else? We'll grab another five of those. Take five. Excellent purchase. Anything else look interesting? Not right now. Thank you, thank you. The doll is adorable and I feel like I need to just own it. Let's see, 1600 bells. Yeah, I'm buying it. Not for our picnic necessarily. I just think it's super cute. All right, thank you, thank you. And we are going to head back up the cliff to our little picnic area. Oh, I think I might borrow birdhouse. <laughs> Throw that up there. Oh, it's Hazel. Let's say hi. Oh, I'm just digging up everything. Hazel, stop moving. I'm trying to say hi. Oh, hey, you know, wow. What brings you here? Let's talk. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn out awesome, you know wow. I completely agree. Heading up. Look at how cute this looks. I know it's not anything professional, but I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with it. We're just going to plant some flowers now. Eventually, I will put up some fencing or shrubs or hedges but I think for now a flower border works gives it a little something extra well that worked out well that almost took us directly to the very end actually if I oops no that works can also put one of those cedar trees again Back right here. Awesome. Looks good. Can throw, hopefully I have room. I just got that other, not Dolly, Mama Panda. Put her right there with Papa Panda. Oh, that's so cute. I am Thoroughly happy with the way that turned out. It's super, super simple, but I think it just gives something to an island where I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do. I think it looks adorable. Takes up some of the room up here. Planted some more flowers, so I think it'll get us a few more points. Just a cute little area. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Now with that out of the way. Oh! Hazel wants to talk, so let's talk to Hazel. What's up, Hazel? About time I found you, I got something to give you. Any guesses what it is? If you guessed a festive wreath, you win the prize. The prize is a festive wreath. Aw, thanks, Hazel. Perfect for door decorating, right? You can get your place looking cool in time for the toy day. You know well. Aw, thank you, Hazel. You're so sweet. And that is why she's one of my favorites. She's absolutely adorable. Let's head over to my house and put that up on the door. Festive wreath, decorate door. Oh, look at how nice that looks. Now we look Christmas ready. Anyway, before I was talking to Hazel, 
I was about to say that I met up with my good friend Jolly Red yesterday and he coerced me into buying some of his possibly fake art so we're gonna find out if this statue that I bought is real or fake and depending on what it is we figure out what to do with it so we're gonna make a donation I'm not feeling confident because Jolly Red's fairly sketchy but let's see if this statue that I purchased is actually real my feathers is that a tremendous statue hmm it gives me one pause to see a tremendous statue up close like this who what upon closer examination i have grave news to share with you this work of art is a fake i knew it i cannot accept forgeries you see so i must give it back who sad but true okay i got taken by jolly red might i help you with anything else i'm fine Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. Well, now I have a fake statue that I can put up somewhere on my island. Where? I don't know exactly, but I have a fake statue. I feel so taken advantage of. Oh, and I got Nook Moels for being faked out. Well, thanks. Jolly Red. Oh, look, there's a Christmas tree in our town square. That's so cute. This island's shaping up. It's starting to look like something. Um, I think... I like this path so much. I think I'm just going to lay some of it down here in front of our airport just cuz I think it's cute awesome okay see that looks nice a little more decorative than what I had oh I just realized speaking of decorations I have one more thing to throw up at my little picnic before that's completed I forgot that we grabbed that birdhouse there we go so right up here We'll just whoop, throw up a little birdhouse. There we go. Love this. This is going to need a little something more than what I have going on. But I think right now it looks really good. It's kind of exactly what I had in my mind other than fencing or shrubs or something along the back. But the flowers will grow. I'm super happy with that. Now on to our next task for today, and that is finding who is doing our DIYs. And I know it's not Hazel, I know it's not Apple because I've seen her running around. It's not Nan because she's outside. Oh, Poppy, how are things, kid? This weather is just perfect for a stroll around the island, isn't it? I couldn't agree more. Oh! We have a visitor! Yo, 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 ho, pirate sounds, etc. Or I don't care if it's me turn to man the helm. Me nap time is me nap time. Z. Snark, snark, or if I even find a single raisin in these cookies, I'll kill all the lot of ye. Merp, or don't want to get up, ma. Let me sail the seven Z's. Is he ever going to get up? Our storms are coming. Brace yourselves, mateys. Hatting down the batches, or is it batting down the hatches? Z. Oh my goodness. Wake up, R. There we go. Gulliver. Ah, this buffet may be the end of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet. Avast, where'd the buffet go? What a trick this is. Do ye even know who ye be messing with? I be Captain Gulliver, legendary pirate, feared for all manner of dreadful gulldoggery. Ah. 
Now, where's the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? Arr, ye don't look very cruel. I suppose ye did me a favor. I might have gobbled up this whole batch. Or beach. Aye, ye saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise, begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion. Oof, but I do have a powerful ache in me noggin. I was parking. Partaken of a bit o' oh, the good soda with me crew, but I tumbled o'er the prow and into the sea. Tis not but a mild inconvenience, though, for we be living in an age of gadgety miracles. I've got me treasure that can summon a ship day or night, sea or shore, har. So as long as I got me trusty old communicator, I'll be just, huh? I guess we're going to be looking for a communicator. Oh me gosh. Me trusty me communicator has gone and vanished. Arr. Those waves bought me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping me pirate puns, so those are sure to run out fast. Ha <laughs> ha. Ahoy, you with the whale size noggin. Will you help the stranded seabird find his lost communicator? Sure, I'll look for it. Really? Why, you're even sweeter than the famous Captain Syrup, but without her double crossing, I hope. Me gut says me cu communicator is in a nearby ocean. Me crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep lookout. Got lots to be on land for that. Ye savvy. That means it's up to ye to swim about and find me communicator. I'm counting on ye, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before ye hunt, else you'll be blundering your plundering. Wow, Gulliver talks a lot. <laughs> like an insane amount of talking. Okay, so I guess we should quickly go and find Gulliver's treasure. And he said to have room in my pocket, so... I am gonna throw up some more trees for you here, Nan, just to get them out of the way. Hopefully there's room. If not, I'm just gonna sell them and get them out of my way. Nope, there was room. Perfect. I wanna keep this area kinda open. I guess I could plant another one here if it'll fit. Plant. Awesome. Okay, so let's put away our shovel and go and, oh Nan, you're cute. Go and help Gulliver find his communicator. Oh, we have a lot of bubbles right here, and I highly doubt that's a communicator, but I want whatever it is. So we're going for it. Oh, it's a quick one. Okay. He's sneaky, but I'm sneakier. Slow swimming. And ha! Not this time. What did I get? Ooh, I caught a red king crab. It's really flushed, but not a communicator. So off we go again. And we have, oh, that was easy. Yes, I found the communicator. Now bring it to that pirate. That was super easy. All right, buddy, here you go. Arr, have you found it yet? Yar. Arr, that's it. That's me precious communicator. <laughs> and apparently it's fixed. I thank ye with all me heart, matey. With extra cherries on top, even now I can contact me faithful crew. Avast ye lily-livered sea dogs. Tis I, your beloved captain, who makes things haptan. I had another bad spill, so ye best change course and come pick me up. Here be my coordinates. Be quick about it, or I'll buckle your swashes for good, so says Captain Gullivar. Our winky face said. <laughs> Arr, that ought to put some wind in their sails, and no mistake. You saved my life. That's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship you. you find reward soon. Expedited, Arr. 
Ah, uh, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this beach here and look mean. Here I go. Okay, well, that was good. We helped Gulliver. Still, oh, and our message bottle. This is shaping up to be a good day. Open. To the lucky owner of a free bottle, I was just zoning out in the bathtub when a great DIY idea popped into my head that I had to write down. Lucky you, you really scored by taking a peek inside this bottle. Try it and see what happens. Your clever pal, Ricky. Bamboo partition. I still need bamboo, but I have DIYs now. And let's head over here. See if anybody's home. See if I have a DIYer. I do not, but Hazel and Moose are hanging out, so we might as well stop and say hi. Hey, neat, you came by to visit Hazel too. Cool, Shorty. Here's a gift. Really? What is it? I don't even know what I have, but I figured. Oh, I can't give him a statue. I have a dolly. Oh, I'll give him a tool shelf. Wow, it's a tool shelf. You've been working those kindness muscles, haven't you? I'll put this out next time I redecorate. It's really going to help me max out my gain, shorty. Gotta give as much as you take. Please take some brown brick flooring. Thank you. Everybody needs flooring. I don't think Hazel is ready to take gifts yet. Moose just showed up too. Lots of visitors today for some reason, you know wow. Let's chat. I really wish I used my tennis table more often, you know wow. Staying fit's tough, you know? I just can't seem to make it a habit, but I keep trying. I completely feel you, Hazel. Alright, sorry Moose, excuse me, didn't mean to push you. And I'm out and off to find that DIYer. Off to the other side of my island. I haven't seen any snowballs today either to make another snowman. Which is odd. I have lots of open space, so I have no idea where they would put it. Anybody home here? No, Tex is out exploring the island. But it looks like someone is home here. I think this is Colton's house. It is Colton's house and... Check it, you came to see me. What's the latest? Are you feeling the pressure of the Toy Day gift exchange yet? I mean, what do you get for someone with exquisite taste? Someone with such fabulous possessions already? In other words, what are you going to get for me? Check it. Haha. Ha. Oh, you're funny. What do you get them? Okay, it looks like Flo is home, so let's stop and see what she's up to. And Flo is not my DIYer either. So Flo, I'd stop and chat, but I'm kind of on a mission. Definitely not Moose, because he was over at Hazel's. Not Colton. Doesn't look like Sherb is home. Tex is not home. This leaves Hamlet and Mint. So they live up top. So let's head in that direction. See if either or is home. It looks like Mint is not home. Her window is closed. So this is leaving Hamlet. And here's Hamlet's house and he is home. So I hope he's our DIYer. And he is. Ah, there we go. All right. Poppy needs something. What you up to? You're not going to believe it. I made a mountain standy. I was out jogging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been dehydration. Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine and you know I'm all about sharing my routine. So what do you say? You want to get making yourself a mountain standy? Teach me. Well, I could or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for the paper. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. You know what I'm thinking. 
I'm thinking let's learn this and it may actually fit in with my whole picnic idea. Let's see what it looks like. Sorry to use your house here, Hamlet. <gasps> it's buildable and it's perfect. We need more wood though, soft wood and regular wood because I want more than one. So let's go and whack some trees. What do I need still? I need five and four, so I should have enough for two. Let's head down our little ramp across our little bridge. I do have the island construction now, so at some point I'm going to close off some of these waterways and make my island a little easier to get across because it's not as simple as I'd like right now. Put away my axe. I am just grabbing some customization kits really quickly because I know you can customize standees. I've seen them on other people's islands when I've been touring. So I'm going to grab a few of those. Here's what we have today. I need customization kits. Singles on bulk. How many would you like? Five. I'm gonna grab five more. Just to have. Alright. Anything else look interesting? No. I'm so glad we found our DIYer. I'm so excited right now. So we are gonna head out. I have a DIY bench right here. Let's make some standees to put up. That'll fill in some of the space. Let's craft mountain standee. Awesome. Keep crafting. Make another one. Perfect. Done for now. The only thing I'm going to do is quickly customize these. Spring, cherry, summer, <laughs> Kyoto in summer, fall, and winter. We want winter. The volcano is cool though. Customized mountain standee. Let's do another one. Perfect. I'm done for now. Oh, I got points for that. Nook Miles. One of my mini challenges. Alright, and before we wrap this up, let's go and throw up those standees. I'm super excited right now. Love it when stuff works out. This is going to do exactly what I wanted. I'm going to put one right here. Hopefully there's enough room. There is! Oh, how cute! That's exactly what I wanted. It does. It fills up some space. Looks adorable. Another one. Please item. Awesome. Now it's starting to look like something I'm really excited about it with that i'm going to end off this video thank you so much for watching if you see anything you like do leave a like and subscribe i appreciate all of it i love any and all feedback and suggestions so if you have any way that i can make this better or any other ideas for my island feel free to leave them i appreciate it like i said and we will be back tomorrow with more fun land fun thanks for watching